Dream Hey Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are finally gonna check out Helenus in Arena. I bet you thought this last comeback series was gonna feature a guy. Um, but for this, we're gonna look at her skill set because I think no one remembers her skill set. She recovers 1000 HP when she uses a skill that's absolutely sad. She also reduces the damage, magic damage she takes and also increases the accuracy rate of all allies by 30%. So I think this is where she is the most useful, her passive, which increases accuracy rate. So this ensures, or rather I won't say ensure, but at least increases the chance for you to connect hits with Yonhi, you know, maybe anti and school as well. And she also deals 500% physical damage to one enemy, ignores 30% defense and has additional 500 a uh, 50% crit rate sounds very strong and she also deals 300% to three enemies exploits vulnerability decreased buff duration by one turn and her awakened skill does 200% to five enemies and decreases their defense by 50% for two turns so that is also pretty good actually however we'll check that out later okay because i think that this skill set on her is actually one of the better ones i feel on the Post reboot heroes. <laughs> I've given her double lethal so that she's able to reset her skill and since she also has innate higher crit rate I think it's okay to give her lethal. Double HP and willful ring with hide and purification. I did test the guardian ring as well. Guardian ring with purification if I'm not wrong. So um, either way I think it is still okay. She actually has surprisingly good bulk. She takes as much damage as able okay honestly which is pretty interesting because Abel is a myth hero but she is able to take the same almost the same amount of damage she has survived for 1 hp physical attack increase and block rate increase okay increase awakening gauge because i think her awakening gauge is the most important skill because it decreases defense by 50 percent for two turns i know it's just for two turns but you know it's better than nothing and I remember there was a period where she was actually meta right after the reboot. <laughs> okay, so for her traits, I've actually given her paralyzed and stun and skill use because you know I really want to see her in action, so skill use chance. Of course, if you really want to test her out, I don't think skill use is the best. Fighter soul wise, decreased damage taken, physical attack increase, uh, five single and five target damage increase, and also crit rate increase. The team I'll be using is the universal team, of course, with Wukong for buff block. Able for counter, Rudy for more bulk, and Platin for 1 HP conversion as well as uh, buff removal. If you don't want to use Platin here, you can always use Anti. The yeah, Anti is usable in any team, so long as you satisfy the criteria for the buff point, which in this case you will because you have 3 universal heroes. Just remember that Paladin is universal. So over here we face a magic team. I'm really relying on Platin here for the debuff removal to remove the buff block of me so that I'm able to start building my block with Rudy and I think that's one of the most important things because if you know I, I don't have Rudy's bulk increased buffs it's going to be very difficult for me to survive because the uh, Abel and uh, Palinus are quite frail I would say thankfully Abel does hit extremely hard and I think you know without him I will heavily lack a good damage dealer on the team so i feel that you know even though you might think that this is a palanus showcase and you know she's not going to do anything abel's doing all the all the stuff right but you have to bear in mind okay this is a weaker skill let's take a look incredibly sad <laughs> incredibly sad her damage this is just 200 percent so i can understand why uh she does cast the defense decrease right however you know it's very unfortunate that the anti actually used skill notification so there was no way I can touch them and the debuff was just gone like that. And the battle took super long so I decided to cut all the in between and as you can see no way that Abel and Paladins can survive and in the end I have all those uh, those three bulkier heroes remaining. So here we face another magic team and I think in this case I want you to pay attention to the damage Paladins takes okay, and the damage she can deal. So here I've already cleansed and I'm gonna cast my shield now and I managed to get it. So uh, I'm kind of at a slight advantage here because I did cleanse uh, much earlier so I get my buffs faster. 
Over here, I do do the conversion of 1 HP, which I think is actually extremely good because, you know, I do lack uh, damage dealers. I only have Able. Yeah, as you saw, the damage that Helenus takes is a little close to the amount that Able takes. Yeah. And unfortunately here again, she casts her debuff, defense decrease 50% and, and he cleanses it away, I'm so annoyed. So I, I never really got to see the effect for a while, unfortunately. So, I mean, if you do land that debuff and you use a very strong skill after that, I'm pretty sure that will do heavy, heavy damage, okay? And furthermore, coupled with the conversion of 1 HP, that is kind of my safety blanket because, you know, in case my units are not doing too much damage, at least I have that to lie, fall back on. Unfortunately, she misses here with the blind cast on her, so the blind is uh, particularly annoying. Uh, there's a lot of... Yeah, as you saw, she took about the same amount of damage. She only took 2400 damage, like how much Abel takes. So, unfortunately here, her accuracy rate is gone, So, but I don't think the enemies there do evade, except Anki. We'll take a closer look at the accuracy rate buff later on in other matches. I mean, I'm quite thankful that Rudy hits pretty hard and my the rest of my team actually are pretty good in terms of bulk. So all I need to do now is really just get past this Julius and I'm gonna be good. Okay, so here we face an offensive team. There is no evading unit here. So her 30% accuracy rate actually doesn't come into very good play. Unfortunately, my Rudy does cast the shield first and he gets to debuff clan. So this is quite unfortunate for me. He does have Guardian Rings as well, so I can't do anything to him. <laughs> And you know, I think one of the biggest downfall of this team is if they hit me. Okay, so I do land a turn decrease, which is um uh, I don't think it's a necessary thing because we were already at turn three anyway. Yeah, so unfortunately here I um my Abel is in big danger. Yeah, and he cannot heal back in time. And you know, when I'm hit with the Agnes Flame, I'm basically dead. <laughs> That's the problem with this team. My Platin actually is silent, so that's pretty unfortunate. He cannot cleanse for me. And yeah. Dying to Agnes Flame one by one. <laughs> and Palanus actually is the last one surviving. And the heal, honestly, is just amazingly pathetic. Now, if she does get a buff, I would really suggest she heals like 20, 10,000, 10,000 HP per skill use. I think that's still pretty decent. Um, accuracy rate can remain, and I think the magic damage she takes have to, it's okay, reduce 20%, but I think if this was extended to the entire team or maybe just to universal allies, that would be pretty good. Okay, that'll make her even more, more uh, strong. Uh, damage, I mean, it's so-so, I think it's really bad. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's not, uh, let's not try to make that sound any good. With skill use chance, she does move quite a bit. Unfortunately, you know, the enemy does have skill nullification up, so I cannot actually uh, land a debuff on them, which is really sad. Still, up to now, we don't see the effect of the 50% defense drop, which I think is actually uh, a pretty good thing. Able does decrease defense by 30% if I'm not wrong, if the enemy has a defensive hero on their side. But uh, Helenus does reduce it even more. Of course, it has to be coupled with a very strong attack after that. So, it's very difficult in the offensive team, uh, sorry, universal team, because I don't have very strong damage healers to begin with unless my Wukong does move and the chance of that is also, you know, pretty low, it's about 
two skills out of ten skills, which is twenty percent chance for that to happen. <laughs> And with uh, enemies that continuously cast skill notification, it actually deters um, the chance of that even more. Because it's only a 2 turn debuff. If it's a 3 turn debuff, you know, you could still possibly sneak an attack after, at the 3rd turn. But it's only a 2 turn debuff, so it's extremely short. And the moment you cast it, that's considered 1 turn gone. Yeah, so unfortunately we cannot beat this uh, universal team. Here we have another magic team. <laughs> unfortunately in this case my Able does become one of the stronger attackers on my side. So he is hit with the isolation. I believe I cleansed with my uh, routine, so that's pretty good. I got skill notification. Uh, Platin is actually pretty useful in the universal team, not gonna lie. And he gets his, uh, he charges his awakened skill pretty fast. And the recovery bot is actually such a good thing. Because in this case, his Rudy is basically almost dead if I can land the hit. Yeah, you see that Helenus only takes about 4000 damage there. Which is very good. Unfortunately, uh, she misses again due to the blind. I think having blind resist is pretty decent for her. And yeah, her buck is actually surprisingly good. She just needs a better skill set. And even though her multipliers seem good, uh, with expert vulnerability, you know, with 300% of three targets and buff duration reduction, it's actually all decent. Just that her stats, I think, are the, are the problem. So if her stats are buffed, I think she will definitely stand a chance in um, the current meta. And it's really sad, like she, her awakened skill is ready, but the game is not giving her the chance to use it. And I think, yeah, finally. And again, we don't see the effect because we, we are really using it on shooters. I hopefully we, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was the, uh, the effect of 50% defense stuff. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, Judas does not have the debuff anymore, okay? So my, yeah, this final counter is not inclusive of the defense drop, so just bear that in mind. So yeah, while testing this team, I had amazing losses. Just so many losses, so um, I'm strongly not going to recommend using her. <laughs> I really just wanted to see how she fed now because when the reboot happened, she was actually considered pretty good. Of course, now uh, it's hard to say and I still wanted to see her accuracy rate buff, whether it really mattered. And you know, actually, if you watch the video, there were moments where it really didn't matter. My able still could miss. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to my channel members, ZMD Phoenix and Yamaki for the support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much and see you.